Right, GoPro Hero 7. Look at it. Uh, I mean, I need your little pointer here. What I did here was I want to replace the broken screen in the back and for that first of all I removed the battery this is for sure one then in this case I put the SD card back in but I also removed that okay and so this is basically the front of the camera and on the front there is this cover over it okay the cover was glued on here with double-sided tape here in this area you need to be careful that you don't poke in here or in there this here is a microphone so you cannot put a screwdriver in here and pry around in there I mean you can up to this spot but if you get too far then we have a problem the front this spot here was hot glued to this like with some silicone and then around the front display here it was glued in here this area with some art tv or whatever it's called like a very high bond glue this makes it waterproof here this display this area is waterproof, so you can get water in here, and here, and here, but uh, just not in there, right? Now, as I was going in with a screwdriver at this spot to push this through, to break this open, the seal here, I got too far to the left and cracked the, the front window here, the front display. So that became unusable because the ground connection here fell off. It's a very small little display and the connection goes through here, cable to the other side. Um, here you see weird stuff happening. This was underneath here, under the display. That is a heat transfer from this ship going through here around the corner and transfers the heat under the display. Somehow there was uh, like tape underneath here, heat transfer tape. I don't know how I fixed that, but I will somehow. I don't know how we glue this in here, but we will. So there needs to be some heat transfer stuff. This is also glue here, but still has to come out because the new display will be glued in. And if there is anything underneath, it's not super flat, it will crack. Careful with those corners here, there and there. That will break easy. The front is going to be damaged and has to be replaced for sure. And here the this screen comes off here. You have to lift up and twist. There's videos out on the internet how to do that. And I took the battery compartment out. So taking the battery compartment out, this works like this, goes in here like this, and then pushes over that way, right? So um, once you remove the screw in here, I'm going to show this here, oops, there, in that hole here is the screw, you take that out, and then you can push the battery uh, compartment over to this side right here where there is a you can see the rounding here so it comes from all the way back here all the way over here and then you can lift it up and out very careful with this do not damage here this connector and so once you have this part out that um I have to say this here. There's three connections here. Take this one. This is one of them. And the broken display here has two more. 
And you see here my broken display, I put a tape over it. I put a tape over it, so if I push it out, that the glass doesn't fly all over the place. Okay. And uh, then basically I push the display out through this hole here. It was the easiest to just damage it completely. Hammer a little bit on it, that it is like a thousand little pieces. So the tape keeps it together. And then take it out, and then only a rim here stays in here. This has to be heated up very, very much with the hot glue gun, all the way around, like close to the plastic melting to get that glue out. See here, I got a little hot. There's little pieces here. You see that? And this also has to be super clean later when we glue in the new display. Do not damage the display. But this piece is now, they are all prepared, all those pieces I keep, they are prepared to get the new parts in. And that takes until June 26 or whatever to get the parts. Um, I ordered them on eBay. There's a seller in China. Yeah, I keep the old parts still to compare to the new parts coming. And um, so in China they have they have some that's coming with mail. There's some rubber tape I needed to put this together. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I when you keep stuff together in those zip blocks because it takes so long to get those parts. You know, I have to let them sit here until I uh, get everything I need. And then uh, this summer, we're going to put this thing back together. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my card in here too. This summer, we're going to put this back together and then it will be a beautiful new camera again. I'm 100% sure. If you subscribe, then uh, you will see how this goes. I have my six screws in here and you need a T14 Torx in order to work with those little screws. You see them, how tiny they are? Six of those, they are all the same size. And then one of those here. This is the one that uh, puts the battery compartment back in place. Yeah, and then six of those, right? So this will be not a big problem to put this back together. Back together will be uh, much easier than taking it apart, I can tell you that for sure. And it was just my um, stupidity to um, crack the front screen here uh, but the video in the internet did not prepare me for that I have to say so that was not good enough and uh, yeah if you have to do your own camera all I say is good luck <laughs>